Welcome to the solution video for Workout Wednesday for Power BI 2023 week six. My name is Megan Longoria and I will be taking you through how to create a calendar heat map using Deneb. This week we are creating a heat map formatted as a calendar to show the differences in high temperatures across four different cities. We are uh, retrieving data from the National Centers for Environmental Information. So when you do this, you will put in your maximum temperature, your minimum temperature, your date. And then you'll search for the four stations that I provided in the instructions. When you put one in, when you put one in, it'll search for it and then you can add it to your list. So you add all four to your list. And once you have those four, I'm not going to do all four, you'll be able to essentially place an order and you'll want to make sure that you have configured your files so that they are downloaded as a CSV and they're downloaded as a single CSV together. If not, you can always append the four files to create one inside of Power Query. It will email you a link to download your data. You don't just download it from here it gets added to your cart. I already have my file. Uh, I didn't want you to watch this video and wait on it, so I have my file already downloaded. But it took me the few times I did it, it took a minute to three minutes before the email showed up. So it wasn't a very long wait. So you, you should be able to get started soon after placing your data order. All right, I'm going to import my CSV. So here I've got my base data. I'm just moving that to a separate group for organization purposes. And then I'm going to reference that and I'm going to make a location dimension. So I will choose station name, latitude, longitude and elevation. remove those columns and remove duplicates. So here's my four locations. And then I'll reference again so I can get my fact. I'm going to take off those columns that I used. So now I just have date, T max, T min, and then these two attribute columns can go. Move that down here. For the purposes of visualization, I need a shorter name than this. So I'm going to add, this could be done with a conditional column, but for brevity, I'm adding just a custom column and I'm going to call it city. And then I wanted to order my columns in a specific way. 
basically by latitude descending. So I went ahead and made another column to take care of that. So Los Angeles will be at the bottom, Seattle will be at the top. I also added a date table, which I just have a query that I paste into any project. So I can have my date table. And then I'm going to disable the load for the original since I've broken that up into weather and location. Data types look pretty good. Fix those. And I'm going to go ahead and change my theme here because I know I want a background color. Oh, I forgot to turn off backgrounds. And at the top of my report, I just have a note for more information. Oops. And another text box for title. And I, of course, need to go and get the Deneb visual. that to my page and I need to add the fields into my field well so I'm going to do city and city order and date and day name and year and month name and I need to uh, fix my relationships real quick because it didn't auto add them oh and I took out one too many columns on weather I'm going to leave station. All right, and there's my one to many from station to weather, one to many from date to weather. That's all good. I'm going to add just a couple of measures that will be helpful for this visual as well as my tooltip report. Oops. Let's try that again. Not a lot of DAX involved in this one. I'm just getting the max of the Tmax column, the min of the Tmin column. Oops. 
all the dates to be consistent with what I did earlier. And location. All right. We've got our Deneb visual. I need to add a few more things in here. Make sure year is not summarized. I've got max temp. And we should be good. Now that I've populated my data, I can edit. I'm going to start empty because I'm going to paste my JSON in and then we'll go over it. All right. Here, we're just defining the width and height. Anytime we're using Deneb in Power BI, uh, the data will say name data set. I did one transform in this Deneb visual, and it's to help determine the weak number so that the boxes show up on the white, right week. So in this case, January started on a Saturday and it ended on a Monday. So this is week zero, one, two, three, four, and five. This is the continuation of week five. And week nine is where it ends. March starts on week nine. So that helps us get our columns all sorted out. So if the day equals zero, which I think is Monday, um, week minus one. Otherwise, get the week number. Must have been Sunday. So to do this, we actually use bars for the mark. I set my corner radius to one because I didn't want them to be hard squares. People probably won't notice. You can choose your corner radius. ARIA and description are about accessibility for screen readers. So I wanted to provide that description in there. And then we get to our encoding. So first we have our month name, January, February, across the top. We didn't need a title up there. I didn't need a um, text box label to say month name seemed pretty obvious. I changed my header size a little bit to make it 18, added some padding, kept everything in Sego. I don't like to use black or white. I tend to do dark gray, kind of off black, off white, uh, because the other are the pure black and pure white are harsh colors for data viz and graphic purposes. Then we did have to facet this, but we don't actually use the word facet. So that was our column and this is our row. Our rows are by city. And then here's how I got Seattle to Los Angeles. So the, the traditionally hotter or more south thing is actually on top and Seattle is on the bottom. So we are sorting by city order. And then the label font size is 20 over here. And our X is week number, which we have the um, transform Four, we called it week number up here. We didn't need a title for that one either. And then our Y is day name. That's our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday going down over here. And so 
I could have sorted this in the data, but I went ahead and just sorted it manually right here in Deneb. It also didn't need a title in my opinion. Used my label padding, set my color consistent with the others. And then we define our colors. I'm gonna open this link so you can see Built into Vega, there are these single hue schemes that go from some light version of the color to a darker, bolder version of the color. And that's what I asked you to use in this exercise. I used oranges. You could use whatever you want. So I used the max temp measure that I created to color these bars. And I gave it a title of max temp degrees Fahrenheit. I told it to, to put the legend in the top left. It, it is a gradient legend. And I wanted it to be horizontal because that was more compact in this case. And I offset it to make sure it didn't overlap the chart. Then to use that oranges, that's the scheme that is related to the scale and you just give it the name of that uh, color scheme. And then we made our X axis and X scale independent. So all of that together um, gives us our nice Deneb calendar heat map. So that gives us the main page. And you can call this whatever you'd like. There's also a tooltip page. So I'm going to allow it to be used as a tooltip. I want to change my size just a little bit. I'm going to do 120 by 250. Because so I don't want it to cover up my whole Deneb visual when I'm uh, hovering over a single point. I'm going to make my font just slightly bigger. I'll zoom in for this purpose. And I'm going to add values in a second. I'm going to get my labels in there. And then I made those measures earlier. There it goes. I don't need a time element to it. So that gives me my tooltip report. Now I need to set my tooltip. Oh, looks like I need to 
adjust this a little bit. There we go. So now when I hover, I get this nice succinct tooltip pop up here that changes as I go to the next, next box. So my darkest, darkest orange is up near 100. See what these are 96, 98, 103, and my lightest is around 25, 29, 27, and then we just hide our tooltip. And if you notice here, my cities are not in the correct order and the labels are actually off from what the data is. You can fix this by changing the sort of city to city order. So now I've got Seattle at the top and Los Angeles at the bottom. And that is our calendar heat map using Deneb. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this challenge.